or hi. Kanyagensh, the city, the administrative center of the Kunargenshki Atrap area of Tashagus region of Turkmenistan. The population of the city, about 37000 inhabitants. History Kanyo Gench is located on the earth of ancient Khwarezm, in 480 came to the north from the modern capital of Turkmenistan, Ashgabat, near the old riverbed of Amudarya. The first data on her Gench occur in the Chinese chronicle of the three first centuries BB in which the city is called Yugan. In the Chinese chronicle of the 7th century Yugan, her Gench. It is considered Turkic possession where there are oxen with carts. Agench till the 13th century carried the name Gurgans. In 305-995 years Agench was as a part of the state headed by a dynasty of Frigidov. In the middle of the 8th century the city gets under the power of Arabs. After the Arab expansion it received the name Gurgans. In the 10th century, on a right bank of Amudarya governed Afrojida. So there was the North Khorasan state, the Agench Emirate, which capital was the city. He conceded in the Samanitsky state and size only to Bukhara. In 995, the Emir Maman ibn Muhammad won against the southern Khwarezm, having killed the last Afrojid of Abu Abdullah Muhammad. Having united all region under the power, he began to govern from the South Khorasan capital of Kyata. In Agench, Maman's academy, where Collar of Science gathered was created. Ornament her were Biruni and Ibn Crossing. In Agench, Ibn Crossing worked in Maman's academy together with Biruni. It is remarkable that bases of two works which made Ibn Sina's glory, a canon of medical science and books of healing were put in Khwarezm in Urgench. The canon of medical science was begun in Khwarezm in 1000. This strip of lands of the mining ruins of Agench on the left side the Riolica represented continuation of this city. She was stretched more than on 10 kilometers and is covered almost entirely with traces of buildings, fragments of a brick, household ceramics and to that similar. The Yakut wrote about Agench. There is no difference whether to go on all their volists or to go on their markets. Also, I don't think that in the world lands were more extensive somewhere, is wider Khorasm and more inhabited. Old Agench was on one of the major medieval ways, Great A Silk Way. It is one of the most important archaeological sites of Turkmenistan located in the extensive protected zone and containing a large number of well-remained monuments dated the 11th-16th centuries. They include mosques, gate of a caravanserai, fortress, mausoleums and a minaret. In 1017 Khwarezm was conquered by Mahmud of Ghazna. With the eminence of a new Khwarezm dynasty Anish the Jinnad of Gurgans returns the capital status and it appears the center of the huge empire in the territory of Central Asia and the Middle East. 12 and the beginning of the 13th century were the period of blossoming of Urgench surpassing all cities of Central Asia in population and popularity. The Yakut al-Hamavi, visited Gurgans in 1219, wrote, I didn't see the city greater, richer and finer on arrangement than Gurgans. al kazvini reported, very beautiful city surrounded with attention of angels who represent the city in paradise the same as the bride in the house of the groom. 
residents of the capital were skillful handicraftsmen, especially smiths, carpenters. Carvers were famous for the products from ivory and ebony. In the city workshops on production of natural silk worked. Sufi Saint Nadsm founded Kabr. 1145-1221 Held Dines in Agen Chanaga and Kubravaya's Brotherhood. Numerous pupils of Kubra left the famous theorists of mysticism and authors of classical works on Sufism. Among them, the poet mystic Nadsm Held Dines Daya Razi. I died in 1256. Saad Held Dines Hamuya. I died in 1252. Say Held Dines by Karzi. I died in 1261. And others. In 1221, Nadsm Kubus Held Dines remained to protect Agench from Mongols with the pupils up in arms. His grave is near a Honik in Kunir Agench. In the city there was a huge library created by the court official, the scientist Shahapivakis held the number. In 1221 Gurgans carrying the name Islam Heart was destroyed by Mongols. At the beginning of 1221 the 50,000 army Juchi, Shagataya and Yushdi arose to the capital of Khwarezm, the city of Ergench. After seven months sieges, Mongols took him, crushed, and took away inhabitants in captivity. As the historian of Rashid Helsteins wrote, Mongols battled cruelly and took quarter after a quarter and the palace behind the palace, bore them and burned until within seven days took in such a way all city entirely. Then they expelled to the steppe all people at once, separated from them about hundred thousand handicraftsmen and sent them to east countries. Young women and children were stolen in it is full, and the rest of people was divided between soldiers that those interrupted them. Claim that 24 person were the share of each Mongol, the quantity of Ratnik of Mongols was more than 50,000. To put it briefly, all were killed and the army of Mongols was engaged in a stream and plunder. At once destroyed the remains of houses and quarters. As Chuvani wrote, residents became stronger in streets and quarters. On each street they started fights, and about each pass arranged obstacles. The army Mongolian vessels with oil burned their houses and quarters and arrows and colonels sowed people with each other. When the city was occupied, the escaped inhabitants were expelled in the field separated and took away in slavery of handicraftsmen. Across Chuvani, more than 100,000. And also divided young women and children, and other inhabitants between soldiers, and across Chuvani, about 24 persons fell to the share of each soldier, and killed all, axes, picks, sabers, maces. After the Mongols opened dams, Amadaria's water rushed and flooded all cities so the people who hid in different shelters died, and from inhabitants any didn't escape. After Genghis Khan's campaign Agench was included in the list of Eulis Juchi. In the first half of the 14th century Agench submitted to the Sultan of the Golden Horde Uzbek Khan and was operated by his deputy Timur Kutlap. The madrasa in the city is constructed by Timur Kutlik and the mosque Daimi, his boss. The daughter of the Uzbek Khan, Kirya Bekhani. Such a role in the first half of the 14th century played in his development the deputy of the Khan of the Golden Horde, the Uzbek Khan from Atyar Kazir of an Mongolian sort, Kutlik Timur and his wife Kirya Bekhani. Agenç, according to Ibn Battuta, the biggest and beautiful of the Turkic cities, rich with nice markets, spacious streets, numerous constructions. 
it precisely fluctuates from a great number of the inhabitants and worries from them as a wave sea. Once I went astride and came around on the market. Having got into his middle which is called Sher, I came to be among such congestion of the people there that I couldn't pass further. In 1359-1388 again she was the capital of Khwarezm at board of a dynasty from a sword Sufi. King Grata of Khwarezm released coins with the Arab inscriptions. It is released in Khwarezm. Power to God. Mahomedan names of four just caliphs. In 1359 again she became independent in the system of the Zolotuda dynasty Khanate and Kopte Kungratov Sufa dynasty. The Horamisti governor Hussein Sufi, the son of Daya, was from a sort of Kungrat. Hussein Sufi took a Gench and the rest of a northern part of Khwarezm under the control. Coins in the province were minted for him since 1364. He also used the problems tormenting Transokiana at the time, having captured Kiot and Kiva who were allocated to Chagatayski Khans. This invasion on what was considered as the territory Shagataya, finally led to the conflict with Tamerlan. By the time of Kat's taking in Kiva and Transokiana there was no governor who could answer, but by 1370 Timur united the region under the power. Timur, who supported the puppet Chagatayski Khan, felt rather strong to demand Kiyot's return and Kiva from Hussein Sufi at the beginning of the 1378 years. Hussein Sufi released anonymous dinars. Titles and names of Zolotuda dynasty Khans were replaced with Muslim sayings, a creed, applied on silver coins of Khwarezm in the 80th of the 13th century. The power belongs to God, uniform, all-powerful, there is no God except Allah, Muhammad Allah's envo. In segments there were names of four just caliphs. There was also an inscription checking in this coin in Khwarezm. The next destruction of the city took place in 1388 during aggressive campaigns of Tamerlan. In the 16th century, unexpected change of the direction of the riverbed of Amudarya on the north forced its inhabitants to leave this place forever. In 1646, after construction of the new city of Urgench, the territory of modern Uzbekistan, ancient Urgench began to be called Kunyorench, Old Urgench. From 1511 to 1920 I was a part of the Kievan Khanate. At the beginning of the 16th century Khwarezm was a part of possession of a Timurid of Hussein Bey and in 1505, after an 11-month siege of Urgench, was conquered by Shibani Hanum. In 1510, after death of Shibani Hana, Khwarezm passed into Ismail I's power, but domination Kaizilbashi continued not for long. After the rules Dost Hanna Dost Muhammad Khan who was a son of Bujfuga Hanna and the descendant of the Uzbek Khan of Yajar Hanna. He came to the power after death of Agatehana in 1557. The city of Urgench was the residence of the Khan. In rather long board Haji Muhammad Khan attempts of association of the country and strengthening of a position of the central power were made, however it wasn't succeeded to achieve obvious achievements in this direction. At Haji Muhammad Khan gradual process of transfer of the main rate of the Khwarezm governors to the city of Kiva which came to the end in the period of board of Abul Badihana. 1643-1663
Arab Muhammad Muhammad Khan began Haji Muhammad Khan in 1602 came to the power after the death of the father. He governed till 1621. During the board he achieved success in fight against Cossacks who began to make extortionate campaigns to Khwarezm. At the very beginning of border Gench was captured by Yetsky Cossacks of Nekay Storensky, but they couldn't leave the city because of the fact that there were no horses. Arab Muhammad brought together army and besieged them in the city, and began negotiations with Cossacks. As a result he swore that we'll release Cossacks live and we'll give them horses. As soon as they left the city gave the order them to interrupt. After that for many years Conier Gench got to oblivion until in 1831 at construction of the irrigation canal Konyab here people came again. Therefore many great monuments of Konya Gench reached our days in strongly destroyed state. In 1924 I was a part of the Turkmen sir. Since 1925 I was a part of the Tashans region of the Turkmen sir. In 1992 the settlement of Konya Gench was renamed into the settlement of Konya Gench and was a part of the Kyunar Atrap Area Of the Dashavuski Veliad Area Of Turkmenistan in 1999 now the city of Konya Gench was a part of Dashagu's region. Area. The city of Konya Gench became the administrative center of the Kyunar Genchki Etrap of Dashagu's region of Turkmenistan till present. The first archaeological excavations in the old city were carried out by Alexander Yakubovsky in 1929. By this time the majority of monuments of Konya Gench were in whole or in part destroyed. On June 20, 1998 in the neighborhood of the city the meteorite weighing about one ton fell. Sites The most ancient construction of the ancient settlement is the fortress of Kerb Mall on which place in the 11th century so-called Academy of the Sultan Mamun Ibn Mamun where the encyclopedist Abu Raik and Al-Biruni. 973-1048 And the scientist, the doctor and Abu Ali Ibn Zing's philosopher famous in the West as Avicenna worked. 980-1037 was constructed. On a national legend, during Genghis Khan's invasion in this building 40 mullahs hid and as a result of their prayers it turned over upside down. In the ancient city there is a number of the monuments relating generally to the period of the 11th, 16th centuries, including the mosque, gate of a caravanserai, fortress, mausoleums and a minaret. They demonstrate outstanding achievements in medieval Turkmen architecture and crafts which influence was shown in Iran and Afghanistan, and later, in the 16th century, and in architecture of the Empire of Great Moguls in India. Now in the territory of the city three small mausoleums of the 12th century and more perfect mausoleum pure Bighani the 14th century which was almost completely restored in the 1990s located. The most known mausoleum of Konya Gench, first of all among Islamic pilgrims, Nadsmedin's mausoleum Al-Kubra, a star of religion. Belief. The Sufi devotee of the 13th century who is considered the founder of Sufism in Khwarezm is The main attraction of Konya Gench, a 60-meter minaret of Kutlik Timur constructed in the middle of the 14th century. Now it is the highest brick minaret in Central Asia. It is also necessary to note the oldest of the survived monuments, the Mausoleum Il Aslana.
1157, 1172, which is topped with the dodecahedral conic dome revetted with a glazed brick. To the north from the city there is an extensive medieval necropolis of 360 saints. On one national legend, in him there are bodies of 360 Islamic saints, generally the Prophet Muhammad's pupils whom he sent to all parts of the world for preaching of Islam and order to return back to Agench. On other legend, these bodies belong to the Islamic saints who accepted martyrdom during destruction of the city by troops of Genghis Khan. Construction Traditions During the long period of time in Agench, the successful school of master builders existed and prospered. Knowledge and abilities of masters of this school within centuries extended on all Muslim world, their creations can be seen on buildings and registration of many buildings of the period of government of Tamerlan in different regions of Central Asia and the Middle East. The skillfulness and abilities of medieval masters and architects of Khwarezm can be noticed at a research of a design, forms and patterns of buildings which were improved eventually. Moreover, the traditional construction equipment lived in up to now, for example the furnaces for roasting for the first time used in Agench are still used in all the region for production of bricks at reconstruction of historical buildings. Well so far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.